everyone, Alyssa Allison the Lash Babe here. Today I'd like to talk to you about Unique's brushes. We have quite a few brushes and tools to choose from and I'm going to go over each one, what I use it for, what it's made of, all that kind of good stuff. So let's get started. Okay, the first one I want to talk about, first tool, is our Lash Comb Brow Brush. This baby is awesome. First of all, the first thing you'll notice about it is the comb. The lash comb part is metal. It's not plastic, it's not cheap, it's good quality metal and it works so good for getting any of those clumps out of your lashes. The uh, um, eyebrow brush side is so awesome. It's stiff without being too harsh. It works great on those brows to get them brushed out. And this part right here is made out of boar's hair. This is a great, great, great tool to have. The next brush I want to talk about is our deluxe brush right here. This brush is one of my go-to brushes. If there's any brushes you need, there's about three brushes in this in the eye set that I am just ride or die for that you need. This is one of them. This brush right here is made out of pony hair. It's very soft, very easy to use. This brush I use for my transition blending shade, the first shade I go in with. I put this on just windshield wiper motions back and forth on my eyelid. You've probably seen me use this in a lot of my videos. It's a great brush to have and you it's you can also use it for multiple things. You can use it for applying, you know, um, pigments or something all over your lid also, but the main way I use it is putting it right in my crease for that first like messily in my crease for that first transition shade that I put on. Okay, the next brush that I want to go over is our liner shader brush. This has two sides, so it has multiple uses, so more bang for your buck. The, this is made of um, pony hair, both sides. The first side, the liner, or I mean the shader side, I'm sorry. This is great to use also the way the deluxe brush works, just in your, you know, messily in your crease, putting that, that um, color, that first transition shade all over. I like to use this a lot for applying the main color on my lid or I put a little bit on the tip and put a, use it to apply the inner corner highlights and the brow highlights to my eyes. That's the way I love to use this. The liner side is amazing. Several uses for this side. One, if you want to use one of our eye pigments or something to fill in your brows. Works great for that. Another way is I will take one of our dark pigments I usually use Devious, it's a dark black um, shimmery eye pigment, and I get this a little bit damp, put it in that pigment, and use it as a liner on the top of my lids. It's a great brush to have since it has the both sides, multiple uses. If there's any, this is another one that I would recommend to get for sure. This is one of my go-to brushes. Okay, the next brush is our crease brush. This is the third brush out of my ride or die, need it, go get it, you need these brushes. This is the th third one out of our eye brushes that I think you need. Excuse mine for being dirty, I use it all the time. This is perfect for putting that pop of color or darker color right in your crease and getting it really deep in there and on the outer corner. That's what I use this for. It is so perfect. Another great use for it is when you put eye pigments or eyeshadows on your lower lash line. This is great for blending that out. It's small enough. You can just use the tip and blend it right out and it doesn't get too messy or too crazy. This brush right here is made out of goat hair and I love this brush so, so much. The next brush is our cream shadow brush. This is a synthetic brush. It's made out of high quality synthetic fibers. And this is made for our, as you can tell, our splurge cream eyeshadows. The way this brush is made, it is so perfect for applying those, those cream shadows. It, it, they go on so smooth with this brush. No, you don't need, the, eye, the cream eyeshadows will apply beautifully without this brush but this brush makes it so much easier to apply them and it just goes on beautifully and goes on so smooth. Okay, the last brush in our eye set is the Angled Shadow slash Sponge Brush. I can't talk today, apparently. This is a great, great brush. This part is also made of pony hair. As you can tell, can you? I don't know if you can see that it's angled right there. This is another perfect one for putting it right in your crease and in that corner V right here, it's also great for smudging out that lower lash line. It's just a great all around brush. It's so soft, it's so easy to use. Now the sponge tip is a, obviously a great one for applying it all over your lid. 
I love this brush. I love the double-ended brushes we have. They're just great for multiple uses. So again, you get more bang for your buck. Okay, next we're moving on to face brushes. This is our foundation brush right here. If you can see that. It's just a very thin, flat brush. This is made of high quality synthetic fibers. Um, this is great to use with our BB cream, in my opinion, or our cream foundation. And just put it in there and basically just paint your face with it. I know that sounds weird, but it's great for doing so. Um, another great way to use this too, and this is the way that I tend to use it sometimes with our BB cream. I don't like to blend it in with this brush, but if I don't want to feel like getting my fingers all dirty, I will use it to apply it to my face in random spots, and then I'll blend it in with something else, which I will show you later. <laughs> um, but this is a great, great brush to have. Next is our concealer brush. This is another one made of high quality synthetic fibers. This is great for our liquid concealer and I just use it to dab it on, you know, in the spots I need. Um, you can totally blend it out with this, but again, I don't. I have, I will show you in a minute what I use to blend mine out with, um, but it is a great, great brush to have. Next is our blusher brush. This is a must have brush. This is one of my ride or die of Unique's brushes. This is made of capra hair, which is a type of goat. I know I had never heard of capra either before this, but it's a type of goat, I looked it up. This is so, it's so soft and it's so perfect for putting on your blush and also for contouring. It's the perfect shape, as you can tell, for contouring to use with our bronzer and just suck your cheeks in and you get that perfect line for your bronzer and then of course for our blush it goes on smoothly it doesn't look patchy or anything with this brush i love this brush so much last but not least of our um face brushes is the infamous powder puff brush this brush is so amazing it's on back order or out of stock a lot so i apologize for that but when you can get your hands on it get your hands on it I promise you will not be sorry. This brush is also made of the capra hair or goat hair. It is so soft and there's so many uses for this. I apply, uh, you can do um, bronzer with it. I use it for our pressed powder. The pressed powder does come with a little sponge applicator but this to me works so much better. You can apply this with our liquid foundation. There's so many uses for this brush. And again, it's so soft and it's you can see how big it is so it gets quite a bit of area pretty quickly if you're in a hurry in the morning. Okay, next I would like to talk, and excuse them for being dirty, I use them a lot. These are our blending buds right here. You get a set of two, you get the purple larger one, and the pink cute little teeny one. The larger purple one is perfect for blending out your BB cream or your cream foundation. It just leaves no streaks, no lines. It's just, it creates an even flawless finish when you use this and you're supposed to dampen them. I run them underwater, squeeze them quite a few times underwater, get them very, very damp or very, very wet. Then I squeeze all the water out and then I put them in a towel and squeeze them again just to make sure I get all that excess water out and it leaves them nice and damp. And that just creates such a flawless look. And it also keeps you from using too much if there's any extra product, it will soak a little bit of that up so you're not left looking cake face or just having too much foundation on your face. Now the cute little teeny one is perfect for our concealer. Our liquid concealer, like I said, I use our concealer brush to put it on my face to dab it on and then I go back in with this while it's damp. And it just, it's so perfect to get into those little areas to right here. It just gets into every little area and you can use the bottom part for bigger areas. I love these blending buds so, so much. Um, now one thing about these, they are not made with natural latex, but they are made and manufactured in a facility where latex is present. So if you have latex allergies or something, I just wanted to throw that out there. These are amazing though and a must have in my opinion. Now I wanna go over some of our little tools we have. Um, we have a pencil sharpener. This is great if you love our eyeliners or lip liners. When you sharpen them, it won't create a sharp, hard point, which I hate because I'm awful about poking myself in the eye with things. Um, it'll just create a nice rounded tip. And a little tip when you're using it, turn the sharpener, not the pencil, and it just seems to work better. I don't know what it is, but I've learned that it just, it works better that way. <laughs> um, another cute little tool we have is our little cute pink tweezers. I love these things so much. These work so good. They're so high quality, so well made, so durable. And you're not gonna sit there, I've noticed with cheap tweezers, you may sit there and try to pick at the same 
freaking hair over and over again. I hate that. It's annoying. You won't have that issue with these. They are so good, so high quality. They're amazing. Last but not least in our tools, if you're watching this right now before March hits, these are not available to purchase yet, but as of March 1st, 2016, these babies right here will be available to purchase. These are our new precision eyelash curlers. These are balls. These are so good. They curl your lashes so easily. I've had customers tell me that these are better than Tweezerman, which Tweezerman is known to have great quality products. I've had people tell me these are better than those. And I've never used Tweezerman, so I cannot vouch for that, but they're amazing. I can tell you that. I love them so much. They're cute and pink. Who doesn't want them? They have little handles right here and it squeezes. It's not hard to squeeze or anything. They're great and again, you need them. These, All these products are so well, so great. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that little informational mini video there. I just wanted to go over each of our brushes for you and what they're used for, how I use them, blah, blah, blah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. And please always remember, I will leave my contacts below as always. You can always contact me. Do not hesitate to ask a question. Comment below, message me, anything. I am happy to help. You choose the correct brushes for you, the correct foundations, anything. I'm always here to help you guys. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.